Hello fellow warriors against consensus reality. Uh, it's another another video, another dose of reality and truth against the drama loving chaos worshipping gobshites. And um uh, it's gonna be a disgustingly warm day. I fucking hate that. And of course this it's all sunny and everything, so I hate that even more. Um and I do apologize for the noise outside. You have a couple of um gobshites uh, dismantling um an empty house. <laughs> um much like some of us attempt to dismantle the um the houses of illusion and drama. Here we go. Ah, right. Well, um, I kind of found it interesting that my last video um, view numbers were in triple figures. Um, it seems my MGTOW-based videos are the ones which are in demand. Well, you know what? Fine, but there's so much more to it than that narrow aspect of reality and perspective right um MGTOW covers only one very small piece of the pie so to continually release video after video on it would be counterproductive and kind of pointless really um However, there are times when some puny, mouthy gobshites who uh, use both of their accounts to downvote my videos. <laughs> um, who feel the need to act like experts on, on MGTAB when they have no fucking idea. That's when I come in. Um, I'm sorry, you don't get to talk crap about something you have no fucking idea about. Especially when they pretend to be life coaches, but that's another another story. That's a hint about who I'm talking about. Um, yeah, you do have people these days misrepresenting stuff. Or people have no idea about what they're talking about. People have no real desire to um, do any kind of research, really. Which kind of sucks and makes things doubly difficult. Um, especially when you have a lot of people these days who, um, you know, the so-called quote-unquote normies, who um, couldn't really be bothered, um, who, are too busy, who are too busy sucking at the teat of um, the big, the great propaganda machine, which includes the nightly news, film, television, music, you know, where um, the kind of people who actually care what Margot Robbie thinks um, you know, the one who was, um, I came across a rather amusing video just now, <laughs> um, where she, um, the title was something like, uh, Margot Robbie loved metal. And she, uh, you need to get past the annoying Australian female, um, accent. It's more high-pitched and really annoying. <clears throat> Those of us who, be, who who came here when we were two years old have little choice. Um, however, even then, I I've been told, and it's these people have no idea how much that meant to me when they said, um, "You don't really sound like the typical Australian." I said, "Thank you very much." Um, when she went into the um, when she, the quote unquote phase when she loved metal, and I sort of smirked to myself and thought. Um, no, metal is not a phase. You either are or you're not. Yes, metal deals in absolutes. It's the only thing that does, and, and I'll allow it. You either are or you're not. It's that simple. So once again, thank you to the... Um, to the bikers next door... Um, 1975, when I was two, um, four years old. You people are legends, and musically made me who I am today. So, respect. 
Um, <laughs> with, uh, um, it's a, uh, it's a kind of a weird thing where I know I've, I've spoken about chaos before, and um, haven't I've sort of touched on the deeper sort of esoteric aspects of it and and what have you. Um, however, it's um, it's that part of the energy reality spectrum which affect already negative tendencies in in certain ways for example um those of us who have had bad depression in the past and who um tend to be sort of a little bit sensitive to it now um that's how that's what chaos capital c fixates on and works with and dredges up um, so whatever your your um, your weakness is, um, you may have issues with self-loathing or um, you know self-esteem or that kind of stuff. Or uh, your inner critic voice may be um, more overactive than it should be. That's what chaos works on and focus, focuses and fixates on, which kind of sucks really, um, because you think. Um, you're thinking too much. You could be in a good state of mind, and you could be suddenly thinking, "What the fuck am I feeling this for?" Well, yeah, that's why. And in a world where isms and thought policing and um, attacking an entire gender um, for no other reason than um, the male gender actually is counterproductive to their divide and conquer let's destroy humanity and community and the family unit postmodernist marxist my like yes that they, they, these are gobshites are doing um that's the result and um when you have a platform like youtube where It um, is a hotbed for all manner of chaos uh, expressions, uh, namely drama, incessant drama. Um, you have a recipe for um, fuckery to the nth degree. And uh, see, these people, a lot of these people who engage in, and create drama, and they, th they think they're being clever and... Uh, making fun of certain people and um, fixating on their mother for whatever reason um, or um, they might fixate on one puny individual on and on and on and on and that becomes their whole fucking life um, they don't quite understand the energy that they're creating harnessing and releasing and because so few people are actually engaged in the path of um, self-discovery and um, self-empowerment and um, let me use the proper Hellenic term here, theosis, um, which is, you know, connecting with your quote-unquote high self, um, your um, deity within, which is what um, Christ within Buddha nature and um, Krishna consciousness actually is. It's all the same thing. <laughs> it's all the same thing. It's all diff different words, different symbols, different concepts for the same thing. But people don't get that. People are too busy getting caught up in isms. Which makes it more difficult to actually... Um, suss out the truth but there you have it if it was easy everyone would be doing it now wouldn't they and so if someone is on the path of um, self discovery and all the rest of that um, Salute them, because you have no idea the difficulties and the hell they have had to face within to get there. Oh yes, there are many people out there who are going through absolute hell. Um, 
whom you have just no idea what they're going through. Um, which is why I always have time for my um, junkie friend. Um, I've mentioned him a couple of times in past videos. Um, the man is one of the most intelligent people, the most esoterically um, connected people I've ever had the pleasure to, to talk to. Um, yes, he looks worse now than he than he did last time we spoke. Yes, he's still struggling with his addictions and his problems. And on the rare occasions that we do talk, yes, he's still as wise and um, with it as he ever was. And I never ever have to dumb down um, my vocabulary for him. Just the other day, I was at my office, uh, aka the the uh, the mall chessboard. And um, he walked past, we smiled, raised a finger, and he went along his merry way. Um, that's it. So, first of all, I suppose, don't assume. Um, because you, you have no fucking idea what the other person's going through. Or have, has gone through. Um, the kind of... Abuse, various forms of abuse, perhaps that they've um, endured in, in their early lives. You have no idea. You don't know. You don't know what the other person's been through. Um, but um, you can always tell from a person's words and actions. Um, if a person is a mouthy, um, fake know-it-all little gobshite uh, his face you want to punch in then guess what kind of child he was <laughs> um, and, uh, but that's the thing um, with this whole chaos thing and working on each person's individual um, kryptonite if you will um, whatever weakness is worked on when chaos hits you um, it actually can be used as a tool of um, further empowerment and inner development which is what I've, I've been trying to do with it. Um, and that's just the way it is. You use what you find at hand to make yourself better than you were yesterday. And in our case, as an entire gender, that means taking all this toxic masculinity, patriarchy, and all this kind of fucking malakies, and... Um, laughing at it and using it to first of all thank your lucky stars that, that you're not married to one of those gobshites and those of us who are monk thank your lucky stars that you're a monk you can do whatever the fuck you want go wherever the fuck you want dress however the fuck you want and no one can say oh, you're not going to wear a band shirt are you uh, yes I fucking am deal with it I actually quite enjoy wearing my um my Yoda Iron Maiden t-shirt actually. <laughs> uh, um it's um a photo of Yoda with um headphones on. And um if I can find a photo of the caption for you, I can't remember it off the top of my head. It says, um, to be alone and listen to Iron Maiden, sometimes I need. Hell of a shirt. And, uh, yeah, I can wear that whenever the fuck I want. And I can buy as many guitars as I fucking want. And, um, the only time I have to go to a jewellery store is to fix one of my, um, nice watches. <laughs> Put a new battery in, you know. Um, I haven't had to buy flowers or female jewellery or any of that kind of fucking bullshit in 12 years. And you know what? I really wouldn't have it any other way. Um, because you're going to go through this shit whether you're in a relationship or not. And for me, it kind of makes it easier to um, find the clarity needed when you're not thinking with your dick. When you're not uh, jumping through hoops to access, to to gain uh, approved access to her vagina. But hey, 
What do I know? I've been a monk for 12 years. <laughs> um, but I promise I won't pr pretend to be a, a life coach. <laughs> Fuck it all. Um, it's like, um, I suppose, it's it's like me trying to be a... Um, geez. <sighs> a yoga teacher. I have no idea. And yet I'm somehow going to say I'm a yoga master. It doesn't work that way. That's why a lot of these motivational slash life coach gobshites are full of crap. All you've got to do is look at their life. And um, all you have to do is look at your life. And use what is at hand. That's that's the lesson today. Regardless of what kind of difficulty you're going through, or depression, or whatever it is, um, or the the local um, office feminine, f fat, ugly feminist, um, because you'll find that very few hot chicks are feminist. <laughs> uh, the fat, ugly, multicolored-haired feminist has targeted you for whatever fucked up reason in her own little pea brain head. Um, and so work, your workplace perhaps may not be a um, pleasant environment. Well, you can use that for um, for your benefit and improvement. And um, also, that's kind of thumbing your nose at the fuckery. And um, as one of my wonderful brothers gave me the idea yesterday, I'll use a different um, sign-off today. <laughs> the Poet Rogue on Guitar... Out.